here uh, in this question 133 you have a uniform rope of length l and mass m1 it's something like rope has mass m1 and uh, it is uh, a mass m2 that is connected at the bottom a block of mass m2 is attached to the free end of the rope a transverse pulse of wavelength lambda now you see for transverse pulse you have used the equation velocity is equal to under root t by mass per unit length mass per unit length is constant here and velocity is something like frequency into wavelength so wav wavelength becomes directly proportional to tension you see so it is saying that uh, the wavelength produced lambda 1 at the lower end so lambda 1 is proportional to square root of mass m2 at the lower end this is uh, proportional to m2 and uh, the wavelength at the top is lambda 2 when it reaches the top of the rope wavelength is lambda 2 now see at the top what is the tension it is sum of both these masses multiplied by g so lambda 2 is proportional to square root of m1 plus m2 of course g is there for weight and tension now they are asking to calculate what is lambda 2 by lambda 1 this by this so of course it will be square root of m1 plus m2 upon m1 m2 square root of m1 plus m2 upon m2 this will be the correct option for question 133 switch over to next question that is 134 this question 134 is based on Wien's displacement law it says that a black body is at a temperature of 5760 kelvin and the energy of radiation emitted by the body at wavelengths 250 nanometer is u1 at wavelength 500 is u2 and at 1000 nanometer is u3 Wien's constant has been given to you now you have to see the relative comparison between u1 u2 and u3 now you see the wavelength at which the radiation energy is maximum is given by the law lambda m into t is equal to b so first you should calculate the wavelength at which the radiation energy is maximum this is equal to b by t now values are given to you for b it is 2.88 into 10 to the power 6 nanometer kelvin and uh, this uh, temperature has been given as 5760 Kelvin. So this comes out to be 500 nanometer. Now what is the meaning of this? That at 500 nanometer whatever energy of radiation is there that is maximum. So U2 is maximum. Now U2 will be more than U1. It will be more than U3. You have to look for this kind of option. Understand? So U2 will be more than U1. This is the only option you have. That is the option 1. Correct for question 134. Now I switch over to the last question that is question 135. Now this uh, question 135 is information based question in which it is saying that out of the following options which one can be used to produce a propagating electromagnetic wave. So you should know that it is the accelerating charge that produces electromagnetic wave. If it is moving with constant velocity so it will be producing magnetic field as well as electric field in case it is free. If it is moving inside wire it will be producing magnetic field but not the EM wave. If it is stationary charge, it will be producing only electric field unless until you are watching in some different frame. In, in a stationary charge, if it is in uh, inertial frame, so the electric field is the only thing that will be produced. But here they are asking electromagnetic wave. So correct answer you have to mark the accelerating charge. And that brings you to the end of the discussion of physics part of this AIMS NEET 1 2016 code Y solution. Thank you.